So you're looking for a beautiful coastal community to call home? Well, look no further. This is the Indian Rocks Beach. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about this beautiful coastal community called Indian Rocks Beach. I'm gonna take you all around town, give you the full vlog tour. And if we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate professional and a team leader here with the True Living Group. And we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest in the Tampa Bay area and Indian Rocks Beach. Um, and today I'm so excited to share this with you guys, y'all. Hey, I just gotta say, if you get any value from today's video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, click on the little bell, that way you can be notified every time we drop another video just like this. And also my contact information is located down below as well. So if you have any questions regarding the area, please do not hesitate to reach out, but also let us know where you're watching from, put it in the comments down below. Indian Rocks Beach tiny little coastal community of about 4,100 residents. And I called the city hall today to verify this because the last census was 2018 and I just want to dial into this. 4,100 residents, so tiny little coastal community. We have three miles, roughly three miles of this beautiful white sugary sand beach. And why do I say we? Well, this is my home beach. You know how, you know, you might have a home base wherever you live. Well, this is my home beach. We live right across the, you know, coastal waterway here um, and have been here since December of 2018. We're coming up on our fourth anniversary here. And man, it has just been an absolute blessing to our family to be able to come live this up and enjoy it. I mean, the time of this video, y'all, it's September here. It is still a nice warm day, sun is shining, and people are here enjoying the beach. And here's what I really love about Indian Rocks Beach, y'all. While, you know, it's a public beach, it's not crazy. You know, I've, sh I've shared Clearwater with you guys a million times, and while that's a great beach, it can get very busy. The beautiful thing about, about Indian Rocks here is, I got a parking spot right over this little sand dune right here. <laughs> right it public parking space no charge um and it is just so cool to be able to walk down here any day of the week you know it's a thursday afternoon at the time of this recording i could come down here and park and come out here and hang out with the families and we love to come down here with our family get ice cream hang out have dinner um, not in that order dinner then ice cream right uh, and then come down and catch a sunset and it's just been such an absolute blessing for our family so my job today is to share the city and just be a guide here y'all and i'm very excited to do that we're going to check out some of the local parks we're going to check out a lot of the cool dining areas that i that um, i have dined at and would recommend for you as well and then we're just going to talk about the city overall and you know if you're considering making a move to a gulf coast community whether it's clearwater or st pete beach the dirty little secret and i've shared this before y'all is we basically have 35 miles of beaches that look just like this and it is absolutely stunning so we're going to talk about why indian rocks is unique to the area and what that means for you if you're considering becoming a resident so we're going to get into that right now right now we're checking out Necht and Surf Shop and this is the local fave for me uh, this place is great. You can come here and get a bike rental if you want. You can get paddle boards. They've got kayaks. The Gulf of Mexico is directly across the street, y'all. So you can just drop right in. Great little spot here. There is uh, the Salt Public House right next to it. So they've got a pretty decent burger in there um, and good drinks. So you will not be disappointed with that either. But the other thing I like about Necton that I think is really, really cool is if you want some really nice uh, local IRB swag, this is the place to come get it. You know, we've got other places in the area. We've got the surf style shop. Those are fine, but if you really want to contribute to local stuff, this is the spot I highly recommend you guys to come check it out. Next in Surf Shop, it will not disappoint you, y'all. So 
So we're checking out our first piece of real estate today and it's this beautiful condo in Hidden Harbor here. Um, you know, this is a three bedroom, three bath, 1,462 square foot. It was built in 1990, uh, recently updated, beautiful property here. Um, and it's currently listed at 749.9. So, you know, when you're talking about, you know, Indian Rocks Beach, you're gonna be, the lowest price point as of today is gonna be right around five and, uh, 550 and it goes up as high as five and a half million currently. We definitely have some beach beachfront properties right on the Gulf of Mexico that give you a lot more access um, that are definitely going to be higher in price, but um, you know, just a really good spot. We'll put the photos up here so you guys can check it out, but we're right next to the Indian Rocks Beach Nature Preserve, and this backs right up to the intercoastal. So you've got a great balcony view that looks out into the uh, the uh, courtyard out there, but also has uh, views of the intercoastal waterways too. So really nice property. I'm standing at the very edge of the nature preserve here, the boardwalk, which is really cool. You guys can see this behind me here. It was, it was a little bit of a walk. I think it's probably about a quarter mile from the parking lot to here. Nothing crazy, you know, just a nice little walk. It makes a, a loop so you can go back to the uh, parking lot. But I wanted to show you too, the very first property we looked at today was a condo right on the other side here in Hidden Harbor. Um, so to give you some insights on, as to where we actually are. And now you're backing right up to the intercoastal waterway, which is just absolutely stunning behind me here. Um, and I'll swing around the other side so you guys can see it as well. The other half of this loop. So it loops back around and heads back up to the parking lot off of Gulf Boulevard up there but I wanted to show you all these beautiful homes on the intercoastal waterway here. And, um, you know, one of the things that I love about where we live is, you know, if you're a boater, this is a boater's paradise, y'all. These properties here, are highly sought after they're highly coveted because they don't sell all the time anybody's got a boat slip or the opportunity to put a boat in the water is a beautiful thing and you know this barrier island which is what we are all on from Clearwater all the way down to St. Pete Beach you know gives us this 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 safe place this safe harbor to put our 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 uh, our water sports you know our boats our jet skis you know you can you know as you can see it's very calm in here and the Gulf of Mexico is very calm today too um, it's not a whole lot of wind today it's absolutely stunning but man what a beautiful place to come hang out what could you imagine yourself doing morning walks here it's just awesome we're right in front of the kooky coconut now and this is one of those really cool spots Beach access right across the street, right next to the building, but they have ice cream. There is a line outside every single night when it comes to season and waiting for ice cream here because you can come catch a sunset, get some ice cream. They've got parking right outside here so you can grab a sandwich. They've got a really good Cuban sandwich, by the way. It's a little hidden gem. Um, you can sit right outside here and then you can go catch a sunset or vice versa. It's a really cool spot uh, to be right on Gulf Boulevard. Easy access, y'all. Oh, and there's one thing I wanted to share before I forget. You know, often we'll get phone calls from people who are looking to invest in the area or buy a second home or a vacation home with the intent of turning it into a short-term rental or an Airbnb. And the thing I want you to be mindful of is the fact that Indian Rocks Beach specifically has a seven-day short-term uh, rental minimum period. And this is very common for the area. You know, I get phone calls all the time. They're like, hey, I'm gonna pick this up and I'm just gonna, you know, turn it into an Airbnb. I'm like, well, time out. The minimum time period is seven days. And, you know, a lot of people will call me about Clearwater because, you know, there's 4 million visitors a year there. So people are like, I'm just gonna pick up an Airbnb. But Clearwater is actually 30 days. So you can't, it's, I don't know about you, but it's pretty tough to operate that business there. So be mindful of that. Make sure you reach out to a very dialed in realtor. Um, obviously, me and my team can help you. But if you've got an agent down here already, just make sure that they understand the local laws. You know, you've got state, county, and city laws to deal with. And on top of that, you've got HOA associations. You know, you might get a green light from the, the county, the state, and the city, but the uh, 
homeowners association that the condo or townhome you're going to buy in does not allow for it or the uh, the homeowners association in the the single family home area does not allow for it so be very cautious when you're when you're jump, jumping in these waters just make sure you understand you've got a game plan and it fits into the to that game plan because otherwise you could be in a little bit of trouble so i wanted to make sure you guys do not step on a landmine here All right, so I'm standing in front of Krabby Bill's, the original Krabby Bill's, which is a local icon here. And um, behind me here, you can see the outdoor bar and patio space here. They've got tables, um, it's all seashells. Uh, this building is huge. It takes up like half a city block and this place is, <laughs> it's a destination, right? If you're coming to Indian Rocks Beach, you most likely have, have either eaten here or are going to eat here at one point. And right across the street is the Gulf of Mexico. Um, right, at, right at your fingertips. As a matter of fact, the beach access is right on the corner here. I'll turn around and show you guys. Again, we've got walking paths and biking paths through the entire community here. But right there, if you guys can see behind me, is beach access. So they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But this place is, it's absolutely known. They, uh, it, it's always busy. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait a while to eat here. So it's one of those things you come during the day, you can usually get in. You know, you can see right now it's not too busy, but you come here during, uh, you know, dinner time, basically anytime after Wednesday, and there's gonna be line outside of this door waiting to get inside of this restaurant. It's incredible, it's always packed, but it's another local, this is an icon, right? This place, everybody knows about Krabby Bills. Everybody comes to eat here. Um, and if you're going to stop by here at any time, stop by. We're in the Narrows um, of Indian Rocks Beach. You can see the little sign behind me there. City Hall's right around the corner. Post Office is right behind us here as well. And um, the hotel, the one hotel we have in the area here is back there with the giant splash pad, which is on our list of things to do. We'll get into that today too, but I just wanted to share this with you. Krabby Bills, make sure you stop here, check it out y'all. So I wanted to check out this home with you guys here and we are right on the intercoastal waterway. Um, this home is awesome for a few different reasons and I'm going to share that with you. I would say that this is fairly what I would call modest for the intercoastal waterway here. This home is a three bedroom, three bath. It was built in 2013. Now if you've followed our channel at all, you know that a lot of our properties aren't new. I mean you can look at the homes right around here and you're going to find a lot of stuff that was built in the 50s and 60s and that's pretty common. But this is a three bedroom, three bath, 2,093 square foot. Um, um, it was built in 2013, like I said, and it's being currently listed at 1740000 is the current asking price. Now, what's really cool about this property, um, and you'll see that in the photos, is this not only has a boat dock in the back, it has two boat lifts, which is incredible, but it faces due west. So you're going to get that incredible Gulf Coast sunset right here in your backyard, which is awesome. You can pull your boats up. You can head on the intercoastal waterway if you want. You can head up to Clearwater and out to the Gulf Coast, or you can go down to John's Pass and head out there as well. But man, what a really cool spot. Um, great property. I think it's worth looking at. And again, if you're looking in the area and you're wondering, you know, what is an average home cost? You know, this is what you're going to be looking at. It's going to be somewhere in the, you know, as we discussed, the cheapest property right now listed is 550,000 and they go all the way up to five and a half million. So this is kind of that median price point in here. And this is basically what you're gonna see in the area. So great property, worth a look. So one of the things that makes JD's pretty unique is the fact that it's got outdoor seating um, and you can see that here at the back of the building here and they got live music out there and this place is always bumping man this is a local hot spot it is a local watering hole the day you've had walk right outside and head right over to the beach and Indian Rocks Beach is just so cool that you know we have access to all these things and you guys can see you know, it's middle of the day, afternoon, and we're not a busy coastal town. And this is something I want to make note of, right? The highest you can build in Indian Rocks Beach as of right now is 46 feet. Okay, 36 feet above the post. And the post can only be 10 feet. All right, so when these buildings get built, they can't be that big. But the thing I love is we've got a little two-lane road here. You've got a bike path and a pedestrian path on both sides here. We do have uh, 
pedestrian walkway, so it's pretty safe to get across the street. And we have local beach access, which most people do not have. You're gonna have to cross five lanes of traffic to get, get to it once you get down to Reddington Beach area. That makes it a little bit dicey because cars go faster than they should for sure. But the other thing is we have all of these local accesses, right? So you've got First uh, Avenue, Second Avenue. This goes all the way to Fifth Avenue where the Indian Rocks Beach sign is. Um, and then we have access all the way down to our public beaches. It's just such a great coastal community. I absolutely love it and I think you will too. One of the really cool things that happens here on the Gulf Coast every single year is the fact that the sea turtles migrate here and then they come and nest. And I wanna share that with you guys, what that looks like here. We were pretty fortunate, Kate and I were able to see, you know, a, a sea turtle hatch and then make its way out to the Gulf. But you can see the nest right behind me here. Um, you know, they, the, these, these nature habitats are so important, obviously, um, to the marine life. And, you know, it's just moments away from the inlet here for the beach. The part we have parking right on the other side, you know, we've got the, these, these sand dunes, which really protect um, us from the sea and vice versa. But, you know, most importantly, this is a habitat that is so important for these sea turtles. And I just love sharing this y'all because who doesn't love sea turtles? I mean, it's hard not to. If you don't, there's something wrong with your heart. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. And it is just so awesome to live in a community where you can walk out and just see nature at its best. Well, I hope you've enjoyed exploring Indian Rocks Beach as much as I've enjoyed sharing it with you. And hey, if you want any requests, any city you'd like to have covered, please put that in the comments down below. I'd love to get to that for you. We've done them in the past. We'll continue to do them in the future. And also click that little like button. That lets us know that you really do like the content that we're creating. And also don't forget, if you are considering buying, selling, relocating, or investing in the Indian Rocks or Tampa Bay area, just know that me and my team at the True Living Group has got your back. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life. Thank you.